Drivers aren't the only ones that are cherry picking recently. DoorDash is now cherry picking when drivers can earn by time. Why would they suddenly be doing that? I've got a couple of theories. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't fall for another DoorDash trap. What's going on everybody? I'm Zach Drys Fast for the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to take a look at why DoorDash might not let you earn by time. Before we get too far into the video, I would like to acknowledge that my opinion does differ from another video you may have seen on the channel. Having said that, I believe that people should hear contrasting opinions before drawing a conclusion. Pedro did a great video on the subject as well. The link will be in the description, it is definitely worth a watch. In my opinion, DoorDash has a habit of making changes that only benefit their bottom line. And I don't feel like Earn by Time is any exception to that. Earn by Time is a program that's offered by DoorDash. It allows drivers to earn money based on the amount of time that they spend working on an order. Rather than receiving a flat base pay, drivers will receive a certain amount of money per minute that they're working on an order. This means that the more active minutes that a driver has, the more money that they're going to earn. DoorDash claims that this program gives drivers an opportunity to increase their earning potential. And well, it might for some, I see it very differently. I see this as DoorDash's way of not having to bonus low-paying or no-tip orders. Generally, when enough drivers decline an order, it'll go up in 25 cent increments until it gets accepted. If that doesn't work, they'll double it with something else. I did a video about this on my channel months ago, and I've had people report some very mixed experiences. Some drivers in larger markets are reporting that they're making slightly more an hour with this program. However, Drivers in smaller markets frequently have a different experience with this program. Many of them are reporting that they're mainly getting low or no tip orders. I've been fortunate enough to hear from thousands of drivers all over the country about their experiences. Drivers in smaller markets generally see a higher frequency of low or no tip orders. So it makes sense to me that they're going to be the ones who get those orders first when they select earn by time. Keep in mind, DoorDash no longer has to bonus these orders to get them delivered. They also aren't having to refund customers for late or cold orders because the earn by time drivers are accepting them almost 100% of the time. Some drivers may view this as a win-win. I, on the other hand, see this as DoorDash being even less transparent than they've ever been before. When you're earning by time, zero upfront payment information is shown. You're left to guess if you're actually going to earn a reasonable amount of money for that order. Due to a lack of transparency and unrealistically high acceptance rates, you'd think that DoorDash would want every driver selecting this option every time. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. A few days ago, a friend and fellow driver in my market reached out to me and asked me if I've ever seen this when selecting Earn by Time. We've reached capacity for Earn by Time. You can still earn per order or check back later. She went on to tell me that she had gotten that message multiple times throughout the day. When I did a detailed breakdown of this on my channel a while back, I included some calculations about how a driver might be paid. Depending on how long the driver spends on the order, they might come out ahead with this model versus base pay. Of course, this depends on several factors, including wait times and distance driven. I want to be very clear, this next part is just my own speculation, and you should certainly formulate your own opinions. Any time that DoorDash starts messing with driver pay, I get nervous, because to me it seems like we end up doing the same or more work for the same pay or less. It's always been my opinion that this program exists to get shitty orders delivered in a timely manner. Now, of course, there isn't always going to be a shitty order in DoorDash's queue, and drivers in large markets are less likely to see low or no tip orders due to the order volume. Having said that, I can guarantee you, if there's two drivers waiting around for an order near proximity to each other, one of them's on earn by time and the other's per order, guess who's going to get that no tip order first? You guessed it. It's going to be the earn by time driver. I'd like to point out, you're not actually earning an hourly rate with this program. You're earning per active minute. For example, the earn by time rate in my market is $15.75 an hour. So that means that you're earning 26 cents per active minute. Essentially, if you're not actively working on an order, you're not being paid. This means that you're still not an expense to DoorDash if you're not actively doing an order for them. If you're waiting to accept an order or you're driving back from delivering one, you are not being paid. You're being paid for your time to drive to the restaurant, wait for the order, and drive to the customer to deliver it. At that point, your active time ends until you accept another order. That $15.75 could take you substantially longer than one hour to earn. Now that I've driven home that this isn't actually an hourly rate, why would DoorDash limit earn by time? It's a good business model for them to oversaturate markets with drivers. The more drivers in a market, the higher the likelihood that an order is going to be picked up and delivered on time. Again, 
This is my own speculation, but to me, it seems like DoorDash knows the quality of the orders in their system. As a result, they may decide that earn by time isn't in their financial best interest in that moment. Remember, drivers can come out ahead with earn by time as opposed to base pay. To me, it seems like DoorDash doesn't want to fork out the extra money when the orders aren't going in their favor. Maybe your market just doesn't have any no-tip orders in the queue. Maybe the orders in the queue are from restaurants that are known to be slow and frequently keep drivers waiting. Maybe those orders are going a ridiculous distance. DoorDash may be many things, but dumb is not one of them. The fact that they're starting to limit earned by time tells me that they know when it's beneficial for them and when it isn't. As it is, we have to fight for every ounce of transparency that we get. Personally, I'm unwilling to forfeit even more and to hope for the best. What are your thoughts? Have you tried Earn by Time? If so, is it working for you? We want to hear from you in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out Pedro's video. It was very well done, and that way you get to hear two differing opinions and draw a conclusion for yourself. If you haven't done so already, please do consider pressing the like button and subscribing to the Rideshare Guy. If you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy that video where I talk about market oversaturation and how drivers can combat it. I'm Zach Drives Fast for the Rideshare Guy. Take care.